Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about taking on the tobacco industry at the state capitol. My guest this segment is Bob Wykowski, a member of the state senate from Fremont in Northern California. Thanks for being with us. Well, thanks for having me today, Steve. So I think most people have read the articles uh, recently that uh, the tobacco industry is under assault at the Capitol and moving through the process and, and so far moving through fairly quickly are bills dealing with raising the age of, to smoke at, to 21, uh, restri restrictions on where, further restrictions on where you can smoke, uh, e-cigarettes enveloping them and, and things like that. But you have a bill that really goes to the heart of the industry's ability to sell its product. Well, it's about retail locations. I mean, it's the, the code's very clear about allowing retail locations could be drug stores, convenience stores. Safeway, whatever. Right. right. And what we're going to do is narrow that to locations where 60% of their sales are going to be tobacco or paraphernalia uh, uh, products. So it's as people are familiar with when they travel to Europe or in Asia, you're going to have tobacconists where you just have one location uh, where people can go in, adults can go in and buy their tobacco products. So you would not be able to buy a tobacco product at a gas station convenience store probably, uh, certainly, uh, supermarkets, I mean all where most people get their right, right. I mean, these days. Yeah, it may be, for adults, it may be less convenient for them to uh, 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 find a place to purchase it but you know there's been many limitations on the the sale of uh, tobacco products and again the mm -hmm. governor is considering five measures this is just another one where folks that want to have to, uh, tobacco products can purchase them you know my emphasis is on children and adolescents you know that's the, that's the auspices here is the amount of advertising that goes in to um, uh, mm -hmm. locations where they're selling tobacco products geared at adolescents you know the Stanford did a study of California localities, and they looked at places where adolescents frequent and adolescents don't, and the advertising is three times as high. Mm -hmm. You know, they're marketing to young people. So you'd have to go to a tobacco shop to buy cigarettes or cigars or, or whatever. Right? right. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we still have, with all the steps that we've made to limit uh, tobacco sales, we still have 40,000 Californians that die every year from uh, tobacco-related uh, uh, sales. So and we're, I'm really concerned about that. Uh, every place where uh, children will go or adolescents will go, there, you see all the tobacco uh, advertisement. You know what the industry is going to say, uh, that you are basically trying to put them out of business, and after all, they are a legal business. I mean, it's legal to manufacture and sell cigarettes. Right. I mean, I think we have, you know, we have bars where we don't allow children to go to. You know, we once upon a time, I remember having tobacco advertising on, on TV and in our, uh, all our magazines. Times have changed, and, and we've done a pretty good job in California reducing the, the amount of people that smokes, but we still have many young people that, you know, get hooked on cigarettes at an early age. So it's not a limitation on their speech or their ability to sell. It's just going to narrow the definition of what a retail location is. We only have a few seconds left. These other bills, as you mentioned, have gone through the legislative process um, with s successfully. Any sense of where the, the, uh, the mindset of, of your colleagues uh, well, might be on this one? Well, you know, these, these, most of those bills went to the Special Committee on Health, but they were previously in the regular Health Committee. This is a business and professions uh, code, so it's a location, um, to, affects a different part of the code. So um, I think that there'll be support for this and it'll be success, successful. All right. Bob Wykowski, Senator from Fremont, thanks for coming by and talking about this important issue. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, YouTube, and the California Channel. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.